Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, welcome to today's ceremony for the two Marine Expeditionary Force Marines and Sailor of the Year. Please rise for the invocation given by the two men chaplain, Captain Robert A. Moore. I remain standing for the national anthem and honor to the two men commanding general. As you're able, please join me in prayer. Almighty God, whose command is over all and whose love never fails, thank you for your holy presence in this place. As we begin this formal ceremony, it is right to pause, thanking you for your constant watch care over those over us and those we love. We are grateful for the opportunity to carry on time-honored traditions such as these. Today we pause to celebrate the accomplishments of dedicated professionals who daily embody commitment, sacrifice, and honor. As they continue their service to this great nation, may they be ever aware that their God goes before them and their country stands beside them. Father, we are mindful even now of those unable to be here today. Continue to guide and protect our Marines and sailors on mission around the world and return them safely to us. We ask your blessings upon this ceremony, the recipients, our leaders, and these United States. May you be honored in all that's done here this day. In your most holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. March on the colors. Achievement Medal to 
Hospital Corpsman, third class, Zachary R. Smith, United States Navy. Four, professional achievement in the performance of his duties while serving as aerospace medicine technician, Marine he Heavy Helicopter Training Squadron 302. From October 2022 to September 2023, Petty Officer Smith's exemplary performance during this period earned him distinction and culminated in his selection as two Marine Expeditionary Forces Blue Jacket of the Year for fiscal year 2023 an honor for which only the most outstanding sailors of this command are considered. This achievement is characteristic of superior performance, outstanding leadership, and technical expertise, which serve as an example for all to emulate. He has well and faithfully demonstrated the highest standards of the military theory and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. By his noteworthy accomplishments, perseverance, and dedication to duty, Petty Officer Smith reflected credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. For the Commanding General, signed D.A. Abigail, Lieutenant General, U.S. Marine Corps, Commanding General to Marine Expeditionary Force. The Blue Jacket of the Year will also receive an Eagle Trophy from Sergeant Major Paul McKenna, USMC retired, on behalf of USAA. He will also receive a K-Bar from Sergeant Major Rob Tejas, USMC retired, on behalf of the Marine Federal Credit Union. Marine to be recognized, Santer Mook. Department of the Navy, this is to certify that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal to Ryoka Orcasa, United States Marine Corps, for professional achievement in the superior performance of her duties while serving as electro-optic ordnance repair technician. Second Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion from January 2023 to December 2023. During this period, Corporal Arcasa displayed exemplary qualities of leadership, initiative, and attention to detail, as evidenced by her selection as the Two Marine Expeditionary Force Marine of the Year. Her positive attitude and exceptional professionalism provided a source of motivation and inspiration for all to emulate. Corporal Arcasa's initiative, perseverance, and dedication to duty reflected credit on her and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. <coughs> Signed, D.A. Abdignan, Lieutenant General, U.S. Marine Corps, Commanding General, to Marine Expeditionary Force. The Marine and the NCO of the Year will receive an Eagle Trophy from Sergeant Major Paul McKenna, USMC retired, on behalf of USAA. and the NCO will receive an NCO sword from Sergeant Major Rob Taez, USMC retired, on behalf of the Marine Federal Credit Union. Department of the Navy, this is to certify that the Secretary of the Navy has awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal to Sergeant Toby N. Fordham, United States Marine Corps, for professional achievement in the superior performance of his duties while serving as Automotive Maintenance Non-Commissioned Officer, 
Combat Logistics Battalion 24. From January 2023 to December 2023, during this period, Sergeant Fordham displayed exemplary qualities of leadership, initiative, and attention to detail, as evidenced by his selection as the two Marine Expeditionary Force non-commissioned officer of the year. His positive attitude and exceptional professionalism provided a source of motivation and inspiration for all to emulate. Sergeant Forehand's initiative, perseverance, and dedication to duty reflected credit on him and were in keeping with the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. Signed, D.A. Audignon, Lieutenant General, U.S. Marine Corps, Commanding General, to Marine Expeditionary Force. First of all, great to see everybody here. Uh, and a couple more thank yous that I want to just make sure before we just uh, wrap up here. First, from our sponsors, um, thank you so much for being here. When's the last time I saw you? It's a, you know, it's great to see you all. And so thank you very much. I really appreciate the sponsorship that we have uh, for our young Marines and sailors uh, within the community and, and with large for our course. So, so thank you, man, for, for what you represent the organizations. I want to thank the forums and the uh, extended family for coming out to support uh, your Marine. I think that's pretty impressive and, and uh, really, really glad to see you here. Commanders and Sergeant Majors, Command Master Chiefs, all of you are part of the family uh, that represents these three Marines. And I had a chance to, uh, to BS a little bit this morning with them. And it was really, it's kind of interesting, the little things that I learned, right? Um, Doc's nearly done his degree in economics. I mean, holy cow, right? And we were just talking for a minute about how, how hard it is and the challenge it is to, to uh, uh, you know, go after your degree while you're on active duty, pursuing a higher uh, academics. It's a challenge, been there, done that. You agree. I mean, that's just the caliber of people you're talking about. I need to talk about my good hard charging corporal, stand up for a minute. I had to almost like put her up on the, you know, this is like a fire plug, you can tell. Right? <laughs> Here's about this little fire plug. Um, don't don't want to get in the McMap ring with her. Uh, but two years already in NCO, two years on her contract, already having an impact in LAR, already doing and finding those cost cutting measures. It's exactly what we want in young Marines and what we know is senior leaders put the tools in front of a Marine and they will figure out how to solve the problem. I don't need to give you a whole lot of advice. They figure it out on their own. She's a direct representation of that and that's why she was awarded this morning. And then my big galoot over here, <laughs> meritoriously promoted to sergeant, right? Potentially on a board for something else. Uh, and then soon to take orders to go to the drill field. And, and does he not look like a future hat? <laughs> always be the four common sense. <laughs> if I gotta get him to go to a bar, he goes in with us. He's the first in the stack, right? You take care of my problems. Forest fitness instructor, another Marine you don't want to get in the McMap ring with and tear you apart. But if you listen to those three very short, condensed pieces of the awards, you know, a direct representation of what you accomplished in the MLG, right? I mean, just amazing things. And you represent 34,000 sailors and Marines who every day come to work inside the Carolina MAGTAF and prepare themselves, right, to answer a call that we hope never comes 
in the defense of this great United States of ours and the Constitution and what it represents and how we see that. You're a direct represent, representation of that. Those awards this morning are a direct representation of the organizations that you come from and, who, and all those Marines and Sailors. So I think it's really a fitting that we, we get back in to do this. And I thank you, Sergeant Major, for putting this together. I thank you for like, making sure that we take time out to recognize superior performance, that we sit in here just for a short period of time and acknowledge it and tip our hat. Because that's exactly what you know we, we would want and what we would expect of young Marines to do. We, we, we owe them a lot. And so these small tokens of recognition, I think, are huge. So thank you for doing this. Thank you for what you do. Let's call out. And Again, so thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Keep the faith, OK? Semper class. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Thank you.